Now, Heartland Football Friday, sponsored by EBOMD. Hi again, everyone, and welcome to this special playoff edition of Heartland Football Friday. I'm Todd Richards, and we're talking district championships tonight. How about that? Let's go ahead and get started. And first up, the Jackson Indians riding a nine-game winning streak, playing an unbeaten second at stake, a Class 6 District 1 championship, and sophomore quarterback for Jackson, Drew Parsons, getting the start for the injured Adrian Fox. And was he ready? He must be getting some reps, right? How about that pass? Parsons to Jalen Hampton. Number seven is a lethal football machine. There he goes again. They had no answers for Hampton. He just ran wild on him out here. And if they didn't have answers for him, they didn't have answers for that offensive connection as well. Check out the pass. Parsons to Blaine Harris, a little juggle, a little touchdown, and a little big win for Jackson. 55 to 21. Indians are district champions over Sheckman. Big win. Meanwhile, from class six, the class five district one, a championship on the line in the jungle. Jess Todd joins us live from Cape Central High School with the highlights. Jess. Todd, the Tigers hosting Farmington, and me and you earlier got a chance to talk about what makes this group tick. It's their running backs, and Keyshawn Boyd and Zaire Thomas came ready to play from kickoff. How about it? Let's go with the highlights. The game of the night, sponsored by Missouri Men's Health. Second straight year, Cape Central gets to host a district championship, taking on Farmington. Pick things up in the second quarter, 7-7 until Keyshawn Boyd gets loose in the jungle, letting you know that... You can't stop him! Shout out to the offensive line creating that huge hole. And then the defense coming up with a big play as well. Sean Shelton, like he was shot out of a cannon. And Devarius Nunley finishing off the sack for a turnover on downs and a 40-yard field goal to close out the half from Joey Charlton. The freshman kicker rings true. And more good news, the Tigers getting to celebrate Finn Thiel for winning the state championship and the 100 butterfly today. We love Finn Chance coming out and the Tigers answering the bell with that momentum. Backed up on their one yard line in the third quarter. Keyshawn Boyd gets free, 99 yards to the house. Longest run in school history, 24-7. Cape Tigers, they can feel it. And then Zaire Thomas putting the finishing touches on this one. On fourth down, what a move to get free. Breaking tackles down the sideline. He's in. Cape Central goes back to back in the district championship. I didn't expect a 99-yard one. I thought it was going to be like a, a, a five yard to just got the touchdown, but once I hit the hole, I was gone. Going back to back in the, in the first two years of class five is a big thing, so it's, it's hard for us not to celebrate. He don't celebrate a lot, so when you, when you finally get the chance to, it's big. So much fun at the Jungle, Todd. District champions on the field, and you saw in that video, Finn Thiel, a state champion in the pool, and I hear you might have a couple more things to show from him. That's right, Jess. We've got that state championship in the boys 100 butterfly. And how about it? Uh, this young man is incredible. Finn Thiel, 48.9 seconds. He was the only swimmer two days in a row under 50. This one gets him the title under 50 seconds. Holy smokes. Finn was also fifth place in the 50 free. All state in both events. Congrats to Tiger State champion Finn Thiel. That is something special. Meanwhile, also good luck to the Jackson boys swim team. They left earlier today. Hopefully they'll bring back a state championship to the heartland. Well, an outstanding matchup for the class two district one title. Scott City riding a seven game winning streak, visiting nine and one Valley Catholic. We're out for the action. And I'm telling you this Valley team is tournament tested. You hate to have to meet them. They're just one of the best teams. And when you, you gotta go through them, it's nearly impossible. Meanwhile, Grant Fowler to Ryland Fowler for the big Valley Catholic connection. But I got to tell you, this Tyson Underwood and this Scott City D playing tough early on fourth down. Get in there. Makes that tackle right there and says, oh, yeah. Help lead to a Mark Panagas touchdown. Scott City, a terrific year. But at the end, it was too much Valley Catholic. 43-7, to they move on. 
More playoff action ahead on Heartland Football Friday. We'll turn up Class 1 right after this.